you know it's Halloween, so it's the perfect time to scare up a spooky cocktail or two if you'd like to indulge in an adult beverage to mark the holiday. Well, joining me with a couple of cool suggestions is cocktail enthusiast Nikki Kopensky. Hello. Good to see you. Thanks for coming Good on. Good to see you as well. What Thank I you. You're welcome. What I like about this segment is that we have some flavors that we're going to mix together. One of them is yes. apple and yes. cider. Yes, yes, yes. Should we start with that one first? Let's start with that Absolutely. one first. What do we have ha as you're making this? For sure. Well, this cocktail was actually inspired by me. Okay. So you're in the presence of greatness. All right. I like that. <laughs> and I work for greatness, <laughs> so that makes me happy. Okay. So I have the El Toroso uh, tequila. We're going to do... Um, can you use any kind of tequila or you is can. this one? Okay. You can, but this one's really good. All right. It's really well, good and underrated, good. I feel uh, okay. like. Okay. So. Uh, a little of the St. Germain. Uh, and this is one of my favorites. It is the um, the Journeyman OCG uh, apple cider liqueur, which really gives it some of the flavor. Oh, wow. Journeyman is out of Three Oaks, Michigan. And so you were generous with that. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably... Uh, my middle name is Overpour, so <laughs> people like definitely like to come see me. Little splash of lemon, and this was the hot honey um, syrup that okay. makes it fabulous. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, oh, oh spilling a little. I, I think you. I, I wouldn't shake that if I were. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll clean it up. That's go. a good thing. We're gonna give it a little. It doesn't need much, so that's what's great about it. Go ahead and give you. And this will be a perfect drink for, you know, some a Halloween party or something like that. I think so. I I'll think it speaks to fall. Of this. Okay. Oh wow, that's pretty good. Awesome. And sour. Awesome. I like it. Do you get the heat at the end? You do. Awesome. That just came as you mentioned that. I appreciate it. The next Yay. one you have the evil apple. The evil apple, yes. So we've already pre-mixed um, the Cheetos vodka with the activated charcoal because sometimes it can get a little messy. Okay, this isn't charcoal. It seems to be this new thing now. It is. So I mean, you might as well detoxify a little bit while you drink. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna give a generous pour of this as well, um, and then. Wow! 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 <laughs> <laughs> And then a squirt of the coconut um, cream. Oh, interesting. Yeah, definitely. And then lime juice. And that's really all and that's it is. that's all it is? Yes, that is all it is. <laughs> I guess I'll sip that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're able to continue in your newscasting endeavors. I, I, I won't drink too much. <laughs> Ange knows what happens if I have to. <laughs> Easy. So we're going to pour this. I like to add oh, a and little. You're more. Oh, well, in the middle, you know, sometimes. Oh, and there gives that, that look. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy. I probably wouldn't drink that one. This one would probably work for me. <laughs> so it could okay, be we have less than 30 <laughs> seconds to go. So, folks who are having a party at home right now, how should they just festive up their drink? For their guests? Um, well, it's fall, so you have the opportunity of um, apple cider, cinnamon, anything you can grab at the any type of store would do well for fall. I okay. Mean, yeah. Cocktail enthusiast Nikki Kopetsky, thank you for coming on. I appreciate thank you. it. If you'd like to try these at home, just go to our website, fox59.com/recipes.